So regular polygon. Do you know the definition of a regular polygon? Some uh shape polygon thing that has uh many sides. Many sides. Not yeah. necessarily, but um has more than two. Right. It's a flat figure, has no curves. So what I'm looking for has though has straight lines. I'm looking that for must be all the same length. There we go. Regular tells me the sides have to be the same length. And because I could right the and the angles could be the same because I could do something like a rhombus where all the sides are the same but the angles not equal right so uh, regular polygon has equal angles and equal sides okay okay um, have you seen a formula for the area? of a regular polygon in terms of something called the apothem. Have you ever seen that before? No. Okay. I so, don't even know what the apothem is. Well, you're about to learn. Um, I'm going to draw a point in the middle mm -hmm. of this regular polygon. And it's in the middle of the regular polygon in the sense that it's the center of the circumscribed circle. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want a precise definition of this. Now, what I can do is I can break my regular polygon up into congruent triangles. All of these triangles are the same. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And let's figure out the area of one of those triangles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll zoom in on it. Um, now, the area requires the height. And the definition of the apothem of a regular polygon is right there. It's this, it's the height of one of these triangles that I've subdivided into, uh, I've subdivided um, my regular pentagon into five congruent triangles. Mm -hmm. And the height, uh, in other words, the perpendicular line from the center to the edge is called the apothem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you go. There's a definition for you. Um, what's the area then of the yellow triangle that I've drawn? Half of the original. Uh, half of, no, just of the yellow triangle here. Um, oh, then one fifth of the whole thing. It is one-fifth of the whole thing, um, but we'll get to using that. How about, um, specifically, I've told you that the side length here is 10, okay? Mm -hmm. So the area of this triangle that I've drawn yes. is one-half base times height, the base is 10, and the height is the apothem, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. Um, but you just said that's one-fifth of the total, mm -hmm. right? Um, so if I multiply this times 5, I get total area, okay? Okay. But I want you to see that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to group the 5 with the 10, and I'm going to say this is one-half, and then I'm going to say 5 times 10, and then times the apothem. Okay. Okay. Uh, 5 times 10 is really the perimeter, if you think about it, right? Yeah. Okay. So... If each of those was 10. I could say that in general, the area of a regular polygon is 1 half times the perimeter times the apothem. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um so there we go. There is there's there's a thing. Um so the question is still though what is uh what is the area of this particular polygon? Right? Um but we still need we still need the value of the apothem in this example. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm going to take this triangle right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to draw it right side up. 
okay? And we know the base is 10. And if I cut that in half by drawing the perpendicular from the top, um, we know that this side right here is half of that. That's going to be 5, right? Okay, and then we'll call this the apothem here. What is this angle? The total angle at um, the top. Uh, ninety degrees. No, this is this. How could it be ninety? This this is ninety. Hmm. So remember how I got this angle. From the picture, this angle came from subdividing the pentagon up into five pieces. Okay. Okay. So what is the total angle all the way around? One. 360. 360. So that means this angle right here is 360 over 5. Okay. Which is 72, actually. Okay? Okay. So if that angle is 72 degrees, I really want to pay attention to this right triangle. Because if I look at this right triangle and... My goal is to find the apothem. Um, if I know this angle, then I know that tangent of the angle that I've just drawn, this angle right here, tangent of that angle equals, what's the opposite to this angle right here? What's this length opposite to this angle? I want to write tangent of this angle. Opposite over adjacent. Mm -hmm. So tangent of that angle is going to be 5 over A. Right? Okay, what is the angle? If the total is 72, what's this angle? Thirty-six. Tangent of thirty-six equals five over the apothem. Okay. Okay. And that lets you solve for the apothem. Okay. And that tells you the formula. That tells you the total area. Okay. Of a regular polygon. Okay. Okay. So summing up, what we did was we first found the formula for the area of a regular polygon. Then we said, oh, wait a minute, I don't know what the apothem is. Oops. So we drew this triangle over here and figured out what this angle was. And now we can use trig to find out the apothem. Okay. Okay. Um, I think it would probably be, you can, you can come up with a general formula for this. Uh, we already did that. No, we didn't write it in general, though, because I want a polygon. Um, wow. So here's, here's the assignment. Um, so I want an n-sided regular polygon um, with side length s. Um, I want a formula for the area. You should be able to write the formula in terms of, you can use N, um, you should be able to use 360 degrees, you should be able to use S, and you should be able to use tangent. Okay. Okay. So that, that's your homework. It's one of your homework assignments. One of my homework assignments. Yeah.